Hi guys, I'm Silvio and welcome to another off-season video. <laughs> I must confess that right now I'm a little sad because on top of this same plywood here, just a few weeks ago there still was my beloved 2021 the Christmas Village and now it has disappeared. I've dismantled it. I will not forgive myself for that. Uh, some time ago I added to my preferred work tools a couple of 3D printers that will help me creating some figurines and some props for my Christmas villages and nothing else guys don't worry because I will stand with my beloved styrofoam for life. And some weeks ago I've also shown you uh, some results you can achieve with a 3D printer. And some of you may have felt lost with a technology that is not that common in our houses. But I can assure you that a 3D printer is way, way, way less complicated than a microwave oven. You don't need to be a nerd or a geek to use a 3D printer. You just need to have an easy, a simple approach with them, with the 3D printers. I will try to go that way. I don't know if I will be able to do it, but let, let me try. Okay, uh, you are peaceful at home, reading your preferred book, when suddenly your little daughter or your little granddaughter rush into the room crying because she lost her puppy dog. And after uh, an afternoon of unsuccessful search, you go back home, you sit in front of your computer, you open your word processor, and you start composing your lost dog search notice. And when it's done, you simply click on print, and voila! Your 150 copies of the search notice are ready for hanging around your neighborhood. You have something intangible on your computer. You switch on your uh, inkjet or laser printer and then your notice come to life. The laser or inkjet printer comes to you to its use found its use its purpose similarly if you have a 3d model on your computer you simply switch on your 3d printer and the 3d model come to life but what is a 3D model? A 3D model is nothing else than a representation of something, of an object, of a person or an animal, in three dimensions. Everything is surrounding us as three dimension. A width, an eight, and a depth. Everything. But if you simply reason like a inkjet or a laser printer with simply a paper, you can only get a width and an eight, not a depth. Very easy that way. Okay, so on a piece of paper, you can, for example, uh, draw a triangle. You can draw a square, you can draw a circle, you can draw anything you want that is planar, that is flat. But 
what will happen if you need to draw a cube to represent a cube that right now is here in the space what is surrounding me right now you can't do on a paper yes you can reach the system and you can go this way with the uh, representation but this is faking the reality it's not true or you can project light on top of the cube and you get a square so planar representation is not good for reality but let's go ahead. let's add another dimension to the paper there with something in common let's say you have the width and the depth in common and you just simply add the eight this become your space not more your plan your space and the cube can be represented in a space you have the base and the eight the base is a square then you have a eight the distance between the flat plan there and the top of your tube very simple you can represent very easily a cube in the space with three dimension i repeat with depth and eight x y and z okay three axes three way of representation it's like in reality if you use your left hand and three fingers like that with depth and eighth this is the word representation the space representation these may be the the flat this is the space representation okay three dimension i'm weird i know i'm mad i know but this is a good way to try to explain the base the principle of how a 3d printer work it's not something flat it's something in the space so in three dimension how to get a cube in three dimension for example you just need to draw down a square then it's like a, to <laughs> stick a finger there and then try to pull the um, the square out of the paper giving in a certain dimension this is called extrusion okay i don't want to go there so a camera in reality a camera can't can't get a good uh, representation of a cube with simply a, um, a paper a planar representation and just imagine some uh, years ago plenty of uh, uh, of picture printed on uh, uh, photo paper and the cube will not have on paper that just a width uh, and a height or a width and a depth and not a height but in the space luckily we can achieve that okay um, let me do something more let me go Sorry, I will waste a lot of paper right now, okay? Let me check the camera, everything is going well. Yes, no problem at all. Okay, um, if I wanted to draw a square on a paper, I can go that way, then I can go that way, then I can go that way, then I can go that way. Sorry, I'm not so precise, but I'm standing right now and I can't be precise. 
drawing uh, geometric figures while I'm standing. Okay. Um, but imagine I have a robotic hand and I want to draw a square. I need to tell my robotic hand how to draw it. Okay? So I will tell my robotic hand, go here and I will go there. Okay? Then what will I tell to my robotic hand? Let's imagine this is Y and this is X. <laughs> like your old times in school, guys. So I'm here. I will tell my robotic hand, go X one unit. Okay, I will go X one unit. Then I will tell my robotic hand, go Y one unit. Okay, I will go Y one unit. Then go X minus Y unit, minus Y unit. Then go Y minus Y unit. Okay, it's not a square, but it's like that. That CNC tools, that numeric control, uh, computer, numeric control uh, tools work. And 3D printers are CNC tools, a computer controlled uh, tools, okay? Computer numeric control tools, sorry. Um, this is how they will work, or otherwise I can move the plan. I have here the pen, I can go X1 unit, I can go Y1 unit, sorry, I will go this way, so I will go this way and I will pull the paper, then I will once again go this way, okay, and so on, sorry. So, not only my hand can um, go X, X and Y, but also the base can Move. A 3D printer need to understand this code. So it's nothing else than a language, than a code that will tell the printer or my uh, robotic hand in this case where to go each time. This is the language that uh, translates an object into something understandable by a 3D printer. Uh, like on this graph paper here, uh, I hope you can see, yes, on this graph paper here, this is the word of a 3D printer. On a plan, let's start on the plan, then I will go with the eight, so just with width and with and depth. The, um, the plan, the, 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 the word of a 3D printer is a graph paper, okay? Where you have the perimeter of what the 3D printer can print or where the 3D printer can print. And then you just need to move a pen in this case or a nozzle or something else. Or 3D printer, sorry, I didn't need to introduce that terms right now. But this is the word of a 3D printer. It's just some square with multiple units there and subunits where they need to go. And they cannot just understand squares, but also circle inside a square, for example, anything or very, very, very particular perimeters, such like this one. A language that you don't need to learn. There are, there is software, there are softwares that will help you translate what you have in front of you. And what the 3D printer can understand. Okay, I told you of 3D models just some minutes ago. How can you get 3D models? You can get them on free on sites like Thingiverse 
or you can buy them from uh, sites that offer that kind of service. So they uh, print for you or they transform a project on a printable or a 3D model, and then you can print or simply you can draw yourself your 3D models using uh, softwares. Mm, Blender is a 3D software, is a free 3D software or ZBrush or uh, Rhino 3D or uh, Fusion 360 and many, many other uh, software. The only purpose is to give you something like the word processor give you uh, the tool to write down what you need to print. 3D software, 3D design, 3D uh, representation software give you the way to uh, model what you want, what you are figured, and then print it down. Um, let's continue. Let's check the camera. Yes, very easy, very, yes, not, not that very easy. But how can a 3D printer transform this or how can you get a 3D printer to print this one, this little cube here that you have just on your computer? A, so a software will simulate this little thing here. Will simulate a knife, a knife. <laughs> if you prefer, uh, a laser sword, a light sword, and will cut like an onion the object in many, 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 many layers in what you can call a slice. Those the, the, the software I'm talking about is usually called a slicer because it takes whatever you want, whatever you have in front of you. A very easy um, a primal uh, solid like a cube or a statue or a big 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 helmet I don't know and will slice it down in multiple in hundreds of layers of slides with a filament printer and we come to that in thousands of slides for a resin printer and I will explain it right now. Why you need that? Because of the technology that's behind printers. You cannot just draw, draw something on the base like, like a square then tell the printer, okay, <laughs> extrude it, go up, go down, go there, no. You just need to compose your object layer after layer, so layer after layer, until you reach the top of your object. You start from the base and then you reach the top of your object, of your statue, of your... Uh, alien, whatever, whatever. Um, and this is a common way of doing things. So just remember to be like a cook to slice and then to... Uh, let, let, let's talk different. If now I will cut this in multiple slices, like an onion, <laughs> as I say, you can have uh, different slices, but then I can recompose my cube and get the cube. That's the way a 3D printer will work. Commonly used nowadays, there are two common types of printers. FDM printers on my left and SAL. S-L-A, sorry, S-L-A, SLA, okay? 
FDM printer stand for fused deposit material. Okay. Also fused uh, deposit modeling. Okay. Uh, you you get you take something. Okay. In this case, precisely for a uh, FDM printer, you get some plastic filament. This is. PLA filament. This is a plastic, not the plastic you are thinking of. This is plastic obtained from scorch or corn or sugar cane. So it is an ecologic plastic. And this plastic is PLA, so polylactic acid plastic. Okay. Uh, and as a particularity, it will it is a thermoplastic. Let me go with a mad science test there. Okay, I'm mad, so I will go there. Okay, let me take my heat gun. and something you can see that right now this is solid okay this is very solid i will try not to burn myself and i will get the heat gun sorry for the noise guys Well, that's enough, and you can see that it's no more solid, but let's wait for some seconds, okay? Let's wait for some seconds, and once again, it will be solid, okay? It will harden once again, okay? You see that it's starting to get hard once again, here already hardened and then now it's completely hardened again so this is a pla plastic it comes in different colors here i have some uh, gray for example the diameter is between 1.5 and 1 1.5 and 1 1.7 uh, millimeters in this case i have 1.75 millimeters sorry guys but in the world of 3d printers it is commonly used the millimeters, so the metric units are used. Uh, this is PLA plus, so polylactic acid plastic, and this is gray. And uh, I have uh, another color right now on my 3D printers. So the principle of 3D printing with an FDM printer. So with uh, filament deposit modeling or filament deposit uh, everything so filament deposit uh, let me uh, get something else i forgot um, oh, maybe i have there maybe i have there yes i have some spare parts in the printer so the very principle is made possible by a nozzle guys a nozzle there sorry this guys is a nozzle with a very tiny hole on top of the tip i don't know if i can show you maybe there but i assure you that there is a, um, a tiny hole this is uh, a spare part for a 3d printer so it may vary from 0 0.2 millimeters to 0 0.4 0 0.5 millimeters hole when the 3d printer is switched on 
the filament, the, the PLA filament will go through a tube and I will show you, don't worry, I'm just trying to explain there, through a tube, then will pass through some sort of uh, heater that has a temperature between 190 Celsius de degrees, but Celsius, Celsius degrees, sorry, not Fahrenheit, Celsius degrees, between 190 and 200, 207 uh, Celsius, Celsius, sorry, I don't know precisely how to pronounce it right now. It melt, will melt down, it will melt down and will go through the nozzle like that. The 3D printer will push it through the nozzle and then normally standard layers are of 0 0.2 millimeters. That means that the nozzle will 0 0.2 millimeters up from the base of the 3D printer and it will start and the 3D printer will start moving around um, pouring in some sort or squeezing the PLA melted filament onto the 3 uh, onto the uh, 3D printer bed another term okay I will melt the filament, I will push it through the nozzle and I will start doing what? I will start doing the first layer of my 3D model. The first layer, let's talk always with the uh, cube there. I will start to go with the perimeter of the cube. And then, and then this is, yes, the perimeter, but <laughs> if I continue going just with the perimeter, I will get a squared tube of 0 0.2 millimeters of depth of uh, thickness, <laughs> useless. So, <coughs> sorry, after the perimeter, the 3D, print, 3D printer will start going that way very roughly done to create the infill I need the perimeter then I need to fill the perimeter with some more filament with some more melted filament let me try to go with another crazy experiment. I don't know if it will succeed because this is the first time I'm doing it. Here I have a black uh, paper, some black paper. Here I have some little toothpaste and imagine this is the tube with inside the melted filament and then the nozzle there. The 3D printer will start doing the first layer. Very roughly done there. Okay. Then we'll go this way. We're doing fill until I have the first layer representing a square that will be the base of my cube. And then, and then I will go with another layer on top of this. So the first layer is 0 0.2 millimeters. I will go with the next layer at 0 0.4 millimeters. And so on. So multiple of 0 0.2 millimeters. This is just an example. Uh, let's imagine another way. I cannot go this way and then up there because otherwise the filament will go exactly like that guys and will just make a mess around like that okay because i always need to print on a solid surface there i cannot 
print just a layer, then decide I will go up to the top of my cube and then draw the rest because the filament is melted, it's almost liquid and I will get a mess like I just made, made. then I will try to clean it Luckily, I just have some paper with me and I will clean. Anyway, it smells good because this is toothpaste and nothing else. Okay, another crazy experiment and done. Hope it's, uh, it's uh, almost there. So it is time to introduce you uh, my uh, FDM printer. Let me just clean there. Sorry for the noise. Let me just go here and there. And I will put my printer right here. Just check the camera. Okay, guys. Let's try. I will leave this because this is the perimeter of my, uh, right now, of my point of view of the camera. Uh, it's a little heavy, but I will try not to damage anything, and I will go this way. I don't know if you can see everything. Okay, this is a 3D printer. Maybe right now I will go with a panoramic view with another uh, camera. So three, two, one, zero. Let's switch there. Okay. So guys, this is uh, another view of the uh, 3D printer from an higher view. Here you have the filament. Sorry for <clears throat> not commercial here. Nothing. PLA plus. Another one. Another time. Uh, here I have the bed, here I have uh, uh, a little um, screen, not touch screen, and some other components from the other side that I will try to explain uh, right now, okay? And this is a Creality, um, a Creality 3D printer, guys. So I'm back here, 3D printer, with some mods, so, and the 3V2 uh, FDM 3D printer with some mods. I will not talk about modification. Mods are sent for modification. But I will go with the principle. Just remember what I just told you about X, Y and Z. About um, X, Y and Z for, the, uh, for the, our purpose. And I will try to explain how it works. So this is the bed of the 3D printer. From here to there. This square here is my space, my 3D space. Uh, this is the perimeter of the dimension, uh, representing the dimension of the biggest object I can print with this FDM 3D printer. And the 8 is right here. I can go up there, okay? So from the bed there, up there. Uh, I think it is 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters by 30 or 40. Let's check. It's 24 by 24 by 40 centimeters in 8, 35. Let's say 30 centimeters because the nozzle is there. Where is the nozzle, guys? I will switch once again to the other camera right now and I will show you the nozzle if I can. The nozzle is right there guys i don't know if you can see it but it's protruding from there so this is the nozzle there okay the nozzle is done where the filament will come off the printer the principle of 
um, this FEM print you need to and uh, x y and z need to work so with this kind of printer with this printer in particular the y is this the x is this so this will move this way okay and z will move this way here you have some belts moving moving y and x inside here you have a belt the here is a tensioner for the belt plastic belt so this is moved by stepper motors by electrical motors i can show you one so once again with the other camera those are motors okay this is controlling the x movement it will roll pull or push the um, the belt inside there this is one motor for the y this is the other motor there that will go with the belt inside here this way or this way push or pull the belt and for the y for the z for the z you don't have a belt you have a screw there you can see that you have a screw there okay going up 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 till the top here so the and the screw will turn and the uh, uh, z axis will and the z will go up or down okay very easy to go down very difficult to go up i will use this one and you can see that it's going up and down okay three motors there for x y and z and another motor here you can see this motor here guys this little motor here that will push push to a mechanism here the filament that will come from here the filament that will come from here and that will push it through this little hole here and it will go through this blue tube here so the filament is still hard it's not heated it's not melt inside this blue tube here okay inside this blue tube here that will go through that hole there and behind there there is the heater that will melt in just the, the, the lowest part of it that will melt the um, the filament that will become uh, not liquid that will become fluid some sort of fluidicity yes and will stick on top of the bed there let's go with the other camera once again this one here and this is the bed that is heated so I have some sort of uh, uh, an heater behind the bed there that will hit the why because if the filament is too cold it tends to detach from the bed so if the bed is uh, uh, is heated and the filament will continue sticking on top of the um, of the bed itself once the printing is done I will remove easily the object I modified this because the creant comes with uh, um, a glass uh, bed there, but I've used a um, magnetic bed because when the printing is done, I will do disc, this, and I will remove uh, this magnetic part of the bed with on top of it uh, my object, and then I will simply do something like that, very gentle. And the object will detach itself once it has cooled and then i will replace this part of on top of the bed so this is uh, the principle okay 
and this will okay so sorry once again the other and then the filament goes there and it will print okay and on the screen you can by with the screen this is not the purpose i'm just trying to explain how the 3d printer work no i will not show you how it will <laughs> it it works because plenty 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 of videos on youtube uh, with the camera sticked on the 3d printer why while um, the printer is printing but last thing to talk about is uh, but, but how can i talk to the to the um to the printer okay the 3d printer here i don't know yes you are seeing as a micro sd card here okay Micro. this is a 8 gigabyte this is this this comes with the 3d printer and because you can use uh, wi-fi but this printer in particular has no wi-fi so you need to uh, get the sliced model from your pc in the micro sd then insert the card into the printer switch on the printer move here the knob here until you get to the printer printing menu and then choose the printing menu. choose the printing object and then it will start not immediately guys because the bed will need to hit and then it will need to search for the zero point so each time the um, translator the language between the the, the computer and the chip printer will uh, decide where is the middle, where is the zero point, and then go up 0 0.2 millimeters, and then going in the corner, starting something, and then printing. This will take some time. Um, I will show you this. You <laughs> can remember this has been printed with this little printer here. This took five hours to print maybe six hours this is my first test of my evil clown here and this took six hours to print between five and six hours to print with i think uh, uh, 600 layers or 700 layers i can remember not with the base because the base has been printed separately just the figure in there Okay, but this is not a very good for uh, for the figurines. I'm, I'm no. Let's reformulate it. A filament 3D printer, an FDM printer, has not that much of definition to go with a figurine. Yes, for mechanical, um, for other objects. For example, I have already shown you. This is the handle I use to um, to paint my uh, figurines, and this has been printed with this 3D printer using not the white filament right here, but the other uh, gray filament I've shown you before. Obviously not the screw, but everything has been printed on this printer here, right there in this way. Separately, one element, two element, three element, four element, and then the handle itself because this is composed of one two three four and five elements okay and this is my handle then screwed in this no another part here the down because this is screwed on the handle there i also made the same way my airbrush support here where it is uh, on the table there so you can also have mechanical parts printed uh, with a 3d printer here you have a plastic screw entirely printed with this one so the bolt here um the bolt here before adding uh, this uh, final part here has been printed with this with this printer also and this is very robust guys i can't break it 
and this will support the uh, airbrush and I can remove some components here in the place and here for the cord etc and this will stick with all the uh, holder uh, attached to the to the table right there I don't know if you can see no you can but uh, this is how it is and done not so difficult and this is the movement I haven't shown you the movement but uh, let's this little this little um, stepper motor electric motor here through this mechanism there will squeeze the filament inside the hole with a movement like that okay and this little um, cog here will that has some uh, um, some fifth because the, those are the fifth of uh, of the um, of the cog will push the filament inside the tube very 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 simply explained very very easily explained so layer by layer there on top of the bed i will compose so it will go for the cube with the first perimeter there then the infill once it has reached there it will go up another 0 0.2 millimeters and then restart from this point with another perimeter then another infill we are a 0 0.4 next layer will be a 0 0.6 millimeters and then another perimeter and then another in fill until you go up with the final cube that will be there a cube or another object another i don't it's not that uh, it, do, it do, doesn't matter what kind of object and you can err uh, here there that and maybe you can also see if i'm going this way the different 0 0.2 millimeters layers that are visible there okay these are the 0 0.2 millimeters layers and I think that's all for uh, an FDM printer, guys. Nothing else is difficult. Then this is the principle of work. Of course, you need to cool down everything. So inside this piece there, there is a, tube, a fan here and the fan laterally there to cool down the nozzle. Otherwise, it will get hotter and hotter and hotter. So the fan will start slowly and once the uh, nozzle is um, hotter and hotter it will start spinning 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 so it is sometimes noisy then you have another fan for the motherboard under the under the um, the the bed there and then another fan and then the big fan for the power unit there so when it's uh, uh, alpha uh, printing an object you have one two three four fun going at maximum speed so that's why one of the reason why i've changed the original fans with some um, different uh, different fan there because otherwise this printer here can be 84 84 decibel of noise it's very intense and you can't have the printer print during the night because it's impossible to bear so now it's only 60 so i have decreased it by 20 24 decibel and you can print during uh, the night and um and that's all oh, yes no i'm i will not talk about other mods because uh, it's not the case here so i want to t to get this very very easily done so z 
up and down with the screw X and Y there. It's not the nozzle, the nozzle only move along this axis here, along the X axis and Z axis. The bed will move all along the Y, okay? So it is a very strange movement to uh, it is always moving, the bed is moving, and the nozzle is moving, uh, but not very frequently you get the impression that uh, the Z axis will go up. But if uh, X and Y axis are still moving all along the print. This is, even if you don't believe it, because 3D printers are very, very recent, the more diffused uh, type of printing, so filament printing, but it is not precise, okay? So let me just uh, put the printer here, the 3D printer, somewhere it was before, and I will go with the other type of printing, the SLA, the SLA printing system, okay? Uh, if you have other questions, if you want, I go more in deep with uh, some explanation here, just tell me in the comments down below and I will gladly go with some more explanations. Ah, oh, this is very heavy, sorry for the camera guys. And let me go away with this printer. And... And uh, let me take the other printer. This is... Uh, I know you can't see anything, but if I switch once again to the other camera, right now, I can show you the other, this is an Nelago Mars 2, a very not, uh, uh, it not, it's not the uh, very latest model, but this is a 3D printer, and I will try to explain everything, this, the, there is the, um, the control panel, and this is a touch control panel, okay, now let me do this, I will remove the the top there and I will show you the printer before going with the description. So here is the printer, okay? Very simple, <laughs> very little and let me just switch to the other camera there, right now. Um, I'm crazy. The other Printer is a PLA, polylactic acid, so a plastic, a green plastic printer. This printer here uses liquid, it is a resin printer. You may believe or not, but this kind of printer was already around in the 80s, in last century, developed originally by uh, Japan, Japanese, okay? And it uses ultraviolet light, UV light, guys. Yes, it's some sort of uh, uh, a tanning lamp, okay? I will explain it right now. Here I have uh, this time a USB a thumb drive here that I use to transfer uh, models, 3D models from the computer to the printer, but this printer can be connected uh, by Wi-Fi to the computer and receive it, but I prefer always to go with the thumb because co the, the, the computer is far from the printer, okay? Let me do another, I, I will come back to the printer just some, in some minutes. Let me bring to the scene. The support here, 
let me bring to the scene the resin this is a liquid you can hear inside this is liquid this is a gray resin i've used plenty of that of it to print my figurines uh, i don't know if i can show you something guys but uh, no, I will not show you my latest figurine, but this, uh, maybe, yes, you have already seen the, okay, this has been printed with the resin printer, the difference I already shown you some weeks ago, the details are way, way more defined with the resin printer. This is something like analogic printing. This is like full HD printing, so pure computer printing. This is simply 0 2 millimeters uh, each layer on one on top of the other. This is this is a 2K printer, so not 4K, not full HD, but this is a 2K printer so a very very high resolution and so the details are almost perfect bye guy and so on uh, let me just do a crazy experiment here let me get some resin i will pour some resin here enough I don't want to do a mess this is the most green resin I found because this is a, a water washable resin I will not go in there uh, I'm not allergic to resin I should wear some gla some gloves right now a mask but I'm not allergic and uh, the smell of this resin don't disturb me so I will go without gloves and without uh, a mask you can see uh, you can see right now that the resin uh, let me bring closer that the resin is liquid there okay liquid liquid resin let me do the mad scientist once again and I will bring to the scene this object here this is a UV lamp for five four hundred and five nanometers this is the um, the wave of the light because the light is a wave and this is an UV lamp let me switch on the light let me approach the liquid resin for some seconds uh, let's say four or five seconds no more okay it's enough the resin is a solid guys so in just and I've exaggerated because the uh, Elegu Mars 2 can print a layer can uh, cure a layer every 2.7 seconds so a layer in every 2.7 seconds and now I will go this way I don't want to ruin anything But you see that, not entirely because the layer was very, very thick, but now the resin is cured, is ironed. That's the principle of the, the way it works. Let me just clean my hand because some... Um, some uh, 
resin got into my fingers, on top of my fingers, okay. This is how the printer works with UV light. Let me just explain. I will remove this and I will remove the batch there. This is the batch that will contain the liquid resin and you can see that it has an FEP effect there. It's here. Yeah. It's plastic, pure transparent plastic there. Okay? But it's also waterproof so the uh, resin will not pour over, will not uh, uh, spill all, uh, everywhere. I will get inside one third of the aid of resin and then just look here. Here you have some sort of LCD uh, screen. Okay, this is a UV LCD screen. Okay. It will emit some UV light, so it will cure the resin with the light emitted there, and I will come. And these are just, and you can see there, the Z axis. So it only goes up, because it starts down and then it will go up layer after layer just one move why one movement okay let's remove the printer let's get some more paper okay the cube slice it with this method here it will not do this and then the infill it will do this already with the infill so on the screen on the screen of the printer there it will light the square just the square, not the entire LCD will light on, but just the square, filled. So you, you will see, if you look at it, the square completely done with the perimeter and the, and the infill. So there it will cure not all the raising around the batch, but just the square. The light, the UV light, will illuminate just the square itself. And so I will get the first layer, the first layer of the cube. The, fir the first four, five, six layer will be uh, cured in 35 seconds in order to give a good, a good uh, base for everything else. And this will go down on almost reaching the, uh, the, the, the LCD screen there. And the first layer will stick there for 35 seconds the first time. And then next level, and then another 35 seconds. And then up onto the sixth, sixth level, then each level will be cured in 2.7 seconds and each layer here has not 0.2 millimeter of thickness it has 0 0.002 or 0 0.005 millimeters of thickness so very very precise that's why you can achieve uh, way more details with a 2k um, uh, printer. 
it has a resolution of 2000 pixel by 1000 pixel 1000 pixel okay so these those are the pixels and the mm, the figurines will be printed upside down like this starting from the base when the uh, the, the the metallic base is here is completely in touch with the with the fat there and then up 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 and then this will go up 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 until it reach the this point here the final point of the um, balloon there so it will be printed upside down you will then remove it remove the object the, the object the figurines from the metallic support then you wash it under water because this is water washable photopolymer resin otherwise you will spend a, a, a gigantic amount of money on um, isopropylic alcohol okay because other kind of other uh, type of uh, raising are washable on the uh, only with wait 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 isopropanol so okay isopropanol alcohol sorry i uh, mi misspelled it so um ipa okay isopropylic alcohol so uh, this is, I use this only for cleaning the printer once I've done everything uh, after having washed it with water and to clean the LCD screen there. So the 3D model uh, is saved into the thumb drive. I will insert the thumb drive, I will switch on the printer, I will choose the file to print and I will start the um the the arm here will go down 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 when reaching the the uh, the base of the um, of the fat there uh, almost touching the the screen first layer and then the arm here will go up 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 with thousands of layers that's why this is more precise these uh, the um the fdm printer is good for uh, for mechanic products, okay, for mechanic products, for mechanic object, this one is good for precision. Uh, or generally, also dentists, orthodontics use this kind of printer to have a model of um, of of whatever they need, okay. But you can go, and the only problem with this printer here that the Mm, printing area is just this one okay so smaller object and not that tall as with the um, with the FDM printer uh, yes this is a base printing printer but this is way enough for my figurines or for my props or for my lions guys oh enough <laughs> i also have uh, a lion printed and primed with my airbrush okay and other things right back there i will not show you right now it's for next time but uh, i'm going ahead with printing my figurines for my three ring circus guys for my next season christmas village so lcd screen need to be cleaned and here the batch is uh, some more bigger than the screen so the real printing <laughs> uh, perimeter is dictated by the dimension of the screen of the LCD UV screen okay and then that's all guys I think the batch needs to be cleaned so this uh, um, resin printer here need to be entertained need to be uh, taken care of much more than an FDM printer an FDM printer 
doesn't need to be cleaned at all. This one, each time you end the printing, needs to be cleaned. You are maybe wondering why you have a cap there. For two reasons, for the smell of the, of the resin and also for the UV light, the, uh, the UV light that is surrounding. Maybe you print outside and if you print outside, the UV light from the sun may cure the resin there and it is not good. So you generally have uh, some uh, cover, uh, some colored cover preventing the UV light from coming out of the printer or to go through the printer, uh, through the, 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 the cover itself and curing uh, what you don't need to cure. And you can see that after some time, the fat here starts to get damaged. So, uh, normally, every <clears throat> three kilograms of resin, so this is a bottle of half a kilogram, so 500 grams, so uh, six bottles of this resin, you need to change the fat here. You have some screws there, some bolts, screws, you unscrew them, you change the fab, replace it, and then you unscrew the screws, you screw down the screws once again, and you go. And then also, LCD will maybe, you will not change it during all the life of your printer, but generally it tends to, if you print intensively, sorry, I checked the camera there, uh, but if you, I was saying, if you print intensively, massively, 10,000 hours, it may broke down, but it can easily be replaced, removing those, uh, those screw there, and you find it anyway, eBay, Amazon, everywhere. On every marketplace, you find, or directly from Elegoo, you can find a replacement LCD, okay? Uh, other printers, other resin printers uh, are, uh, yes, uh, different, um, but the dimension of the 3D printing surface is not that bigger than this one. You can go wider and uh, with a, a different width, but not to exaggerate. You can't have uh, some printing... Uh, perimeter like the FDM printer you have just seen. Yes, you will spend very, very, uh, a very big amount of money. This printer here is easier, maybe simpler, but it's um, more expensive than an FDM printer, okay? It all depends, but the technology is very old for this one and newer for the other FDM printer, guys. I think I made the tour here. Uh, I will use intensively these for my figurines. I've already printed uh, 30 of them, I think. Yes, uh, painted just uh, five or six because it's a long process painting. But I will go and stick with just figurines and some props like uh, some a base for the lions or something else, okay? The supports for the circus tent, etc. I will not use the printer to print walls or anything else for my Christmas village, my 2022 Christmas village. Very easily explained, guys. Uh, I made the tour, yes. Maybe I forgot something, but I don't think so. I've tried to be as simple and as as I could. Okay, let me read back this one here. Uh, the cover once again. Okay, so that's the difference uh, between. Oh yes, the cost of the printed. Okay, um, PLA filament the gray one or 
it's sold by um, kilograms. This is a kilogram of uh, filament. It's around 11 euros, 12 euros, this particular brand here. The resin is more expensive, okay? The resin is more expensive, around 23, 23 euros, this is uh, 500 grams bottle here. Generally, uh, this cost uh, with the FDM printer around, I don't know, around, but, but hey, I, I'm just saying, I don't know, but <clears throat> the software, uh, Cura slicer for the M FDM printer and the Cheeto box for these, um, for these um, uh, resin printer will always tell you how much you will spend in filament or in resin to produce your final result. Just keep in mind that you waste some of filaments and some of the resin due to the fact that you need supports. You can't go without a support here, otherwise the filament will will print in plain ear and will fall down. The cube is very simple, you don't need supports. Each layer will be uh, uh, superposed on the other one. But with this case here, okay, good for the <clears throat> for the feet there for the right foot and left foot it will start going up 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 with the legs but when it reach the time of printing this little pump here the filament need a support otherwise the filament will start pouring pouring down at this distance and the melted filament will drop down onto the base so i will need to use supports there each time i have a protrusion from the original starting point there so under the arms under the balloons there under the arm this is very easily done because there is no difficulties every time i have a piece of the figurine that is uh, starting to be printed in plein air, I will need some support to support the, um, the printing, otherwise I will get a mess. But uh, I was saying this is around 1 euros, 1.4 euros, and the equivalent one printed uh, with the resin is around 2, 2.5 euros. But you get what something what, what someone else doesn't have a uh, personalized figurines figuring okay and uh, but uh this i'm i'm getting into something that is not intended with this video uh precisely what it means printing and where to start print where to start if you need to print with a 3d printer this is only a way of telling you that a 3d printer is not that difficult to use uh, that's all guys you will see my ugly face in just some se seconds for the outro guys thank you well guys another longer video i know but what can I say to you other than please forgive me once again, because it is in my nature, I can't avoid it. And I hope I was able to show you that you don't need to fear 3D printers, because they are very, very simple tools. And guys, I'm not a geek, nor a nerd. You may think so, but it's actually the opposite. I am from a generation used to typewriters and rotary disk phones. I had to learn everything from scratch concerning IT, computers, uh, software, uh, word processors at an adult age during late 90s. In nowadays generations, everyone is born in that kind of technology and young Fresh brains are like a sponge, they can absorb everything 
very, very, very quickly. So if I was able to learn how a 3D printer works and how to print with a 3D printer just some months ago at my age, and I'm old, the guys, everyone can do it. You just need to have an open mind with 3D printers and everything else and find your proper method to learn how to use a 3D printer or anything else because my method is not the method. Someone else's method is not the method. Every brain works, function in its proper way. My brain is different from your brain and mine is also crazy. So you need to find your way to learn things. You just need to uh, pay attention to someone who is trying to show you that printers, that 3D printers are very, very easy to learn. My intent here is not to impose my method, is just trying to uh, explain to you in an easy way the world of 3D printing. Um, I've shown you an FDM printer, a filament deposit modeling, a filament deposit uh, method of 3D printing object, and a resin printing method, a SLA, a SLA method. I haven't told you, but SLA stands for stereolithography. I know another uh, Greek uh, word, even if the technology story has been invented in Japan. So Japan may also speak. Japanese may also speak Greek, guys. So uh, let's, let, let, let's continue. Uh, this is just an introduction to the 3D printing. If you want me to go deep into it, or if you want to know anything else concerning 3D printing, please just comment down below, and I will be glad to uh to do another video to do other videos because i'm here for you guys i'm not here for me so as always guys please don't forget to subscribe comment and give a big thumbs up as always thank you for watching thank you for bearing my absolutely awful english and if you wish see you next time and guys just four months before the new season. EPIA, guys!